Now let us see some differences between these neurons. So the first one is number of processes. So in unipolar neuron, one process extends from cell body. In pseudo unipolar neuron, one process extends from cell body, but it gets split into two different external branches. In bipolar neuron, you have two processes extending from the cell body. And in multipolar neuron, you have multiple processes. Unipolar neurons are usually found in invertebrates including insects. So invertebrates basically means organisms that do not have spine. Those are called invertebrates. Pseudo unipolar, bipolar and multipolar neurons are found in humans although their quantity varies. Unipolar neuron is found in nerve ganglion of a velvet worm. This is just an example. Pseudo unipolar and bipolar neurons are also sensory neurons and basically they are found in smell, sight, taste, hearing, touch, balance and proprioception. Multipolar neuron is found in central nervous system which is the cortex of the brain and the spinal cord. Unipolar neurons have no dendrites, same as pseudo unipolar neurons. Bipolar neurons have one dendrite and multipolar neurons have several dendrites. Last but not the least, unipolar neurons have one axon. Pseudo unipolar neurons have two axon branches, one from periphery, example hand and one to the center which is like connecting spinal cord. Bipolar neurons have one axon and multipolar neurons also have one axon. Classification and types of neurons. Neurons are also classified into types based on their functioning. Namely, afferent neurons, afferent neurons and interneurons. Afferent neurons are sensory neurons that carry the nerve impulses to the central nervous system. They are affected by the changes in the environment. Afferent neurons take the impulses away from the brain or the spinal cord to the muscles or glands. They are also known as motor neurons. The interneurons lie within the central nervous system. They carry information from the afferent neurons towards the afferent neurons inside the spinal cord and much of the brain. Neurons are placed in the form of a reflex arc to conduct impulses to and from the brain and spinal cord. The most common reflex is the one that consists of an afferent neuron, an interneuron and an afferent neuron.